Hi, everyone. I'm Lisa Neff Wheeler, Realtor with Coldwell Banker Realty, and I'm here today with Rosie the Clown. Hello. Hello. I'm excited to have uh, the interview with Rosie because this is the first clown I've interviewed, <laughs> um, and I think it's going to be really fun. So um, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And talk a little bit about why you went into your profession. Okay, so um, back in the late 1990s, when I was in college, I was looking for a part-time weekend job to do. And out of curiosity, I answered an ad that was uh, looking for children entertainment. Uh -huh. So I called and, and I thought it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are, 20 something years later. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you told me how you get started, uh, got started, but what's made you stay? Um, doing this for as long as you have? Well, um, doing parties for children is uh, always a positive environment. Uh, everybody's in a joyful mood, they're, they're celebrating, and um, most kids are, you know, very um, happy to, you know, and, and, and they like to, uh, the activities that we do with them. Uh -huh. And um, it's, 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 especially after the pandemic, um, it, it was nice to go back and, and socialize with children and, and make them happy yet. Play with them. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that was a hard time, and it continues yes. to be a hard time. <laughs> um, so talk a little bit about what motivates you, what drives you um, in your business. Well, I, I enjoy seeing the children being happy, um, this excitement that they have when they see me. And then um, after we uh, I began to do activities with them, or let's say if I'm face painting them, the, the smile on their faces is just like priceless. You know, they're like, oh, wow. I mean, it could be something simple, uh -huh. but to them it's like a big deal and that makes me happy. Yeah, my we we did this when my daughter was much younger and the face painting was like the bomb. Everyone yeah. loved the face painting. So um, what type of activities do you do at a park? So nowadays I do um, a little bit of basic magic tricks. Uh-huh and then mostly face painting and balloon twisting as well. Wow, that's cool. Yes. <laughs> so I don't want I don't want to put words in your mouth, but expand a little bit on that joy you get from helping children. Um, and I'm assuming that's what you enjoyed most out of your job, but expand on that a little bit. Well, um, many years ago, one of the uh, highlights of, uh, of of all the time that I've been doing this is um, I did a party where there was a blind child. Attending. Oh, wow. And um, when I was leaving, um, he, he asked me, can I touch your face? Can I touch your face? And I said, sure. And he says, oh, my God, you're so pretty. <laughs> and oh. that just, you know, it, it just, you know, um, warmed my heart because it's like, you know, he, he can't see me. He was yeah. really having fun. Uh -huh. So and he had that reaction. It just made me, you know, very um Humble, excited, you know, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's price of this, that's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> and then you mentioned a little bit about the COVID um, process, and you know, I'm I'm associated with the school as well um, as as my real estate role. So talk a little bit about what you've done to help children through this time because it is hard, and the kids are having. Yes. Um, well, there's really nothing to do once the parents decide that they wanted to bring entertainment back into their home mm -hmm. and that they want to have people over in their home. There's nothing for me to do just to be my best and have fun. That's it. There's nothing. This is their decision if they want uh -huh. to expose, you know, um, the children to other, you know, to strangers and yep. things like that. Yep. So all I do is just, you know, do my best to so that the kids may have fun and but nothing really specifically that I have to do yeah. special yeah. for COVID. Did your business um, take a hit during that period of time? Well, obviously there was, you know, a time period yeah. when nobody was getting together or socializing. Uh -huh. So yes, we I did not work for probably like a good year. <laughs> oh wow! Yes, wow, that must have been hard. So talk a little bit. I mean, owning your own business is it's you yourself and you. Yes. So what surprised you most? And you've been doing this a long time. Yes. So what surprised you at the beginning versus what surprises you now? Just the fact that, like, I make myself available pretty much, I'm going to say 24 hours a day. <laughs> I have, um, 
I try to shut the phone off like at 10 p.m. Uh-huh. And, and on my listing, I, I put down that, you know, that close at 10 p.m. But if somebody calls me at 11 and I'm still up, I'll answer the phone or an email or a website submission. It's, you know, it's it's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. But it's like a 24-hour, you know, thing for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I think has been the most difficult for me. Because, I mean, I worked in corporate America my whole career and and you know I retired so I'm like I have to do something but that keeping the guardrails around your family life and making sure you're okay with your family life and then the business it's it just becomes sometimes overwhelming yes well um I think this is it has I don't have an issue with that um my children they're all adults now but Uh um they have grown seeing me doing this and they actually um actually as well do balloon twisting. So oh, sometimes wow. they assist me uh-huh. when I need it. Like if I have a big party, uh-huh. um, I'll bring one of them along and, and they'll do the balloons for me while I'm face painting or whatever. So it's it's fun. It's, it has no, I have no problems, uh, you know, with the family thing. It's, you know, they'll, they'll help me when it yeah, helps. Good. And again, I mean, having a party is like the most fun thing. <laughs> it's <know>. always fun. <laughs> I mean, I do the birthday parties for dogs, so. <laughs> no, you did I did, yes. They were having a celebration because the dog was turning two or whatever, and, you know, and they had a whole bunch of kids. And, oh, but it was really the birthday party for the dog. <laughs> <laughs> you give them a biscuit and they her. <laughs> you know, they had their special thing. <laughs> That's that <fun>. was fun. <laughs> so why don't you tell our audience about how they can reach you, how they can spend, uh, you know, schedule a party and, you know, how you can help them through that process. Great. Okay. So um, I do have a website is uh, www.rosytheclownnj.com. And uh, there's a form submission on the website, and my phone number is listed there as well. Um, and basically, that's it. <laughs> website or my phone number, which is 609-240-7967. Nowadays, we do a lot of texting. Yes. So, um, but I still like to have a conversation with the customer. That but makes sense. We're open to text as well. <laughs> so anything I didn't ask you that you want the audience to know. Uh, no, that's it. Uh, well, basically, uh, children, you know, bringing entertainment to your children's party is a lot of fun. It makes a big difference. Um, some parents actually feel that it helps them because this way they can socialize with their friends because yeah. their kids are being yeah. taken care of. Yeah. Um, I don't, um, I'm not there to babysit them, but I, I, they do tend to stick to, you know, to being around me. Um, and again, face painting, balloons, all that stuff is, is a lot of fun. <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's been great spending time. Learning more about you. And to our audience, thanks so much for watching. Once again, I'm Lisa Neff Wheeler, Realtor with Caldwell Banker Realty. If you have a business and would like to be featured, please don't hesitate to contact me at 732-267-1204. Take care. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>